welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh and I am reviewing BYND. Not only was this the Stock Swoosh show play of the day, uh, this was actually the play of the week. And I would say that so far this is actually make, making the, my beginning of September. Uh, September started out slow given the fact that it's going into a holiday weekend. Today is the third. Markets close Monday, September 6th for Labor Day and then next week is a short week and could be could be slow as well because we really don't have a lot of big economic data next week and we don't have a lot of earnings next week. The only volatility that I see that could happen is we could have an after effect uh, and we could have a sell off, meaning we could have a big move down uh, if we see some follow through from the bad number that was today. You know, if people get back from vacation, they notice it, we're near the highs, people take profits and we have selling. Other than that, I'm going to be looking for selective things to trade next week, just like we did today. So what do we do today? Let's look at the gap. For those of you that don't know what I do, I look at the gap. I rate the gap. I get up in the morning and I rate it. So this closed here gap down. I sort of wish I had been aggressive on this this morning. I wasn't because I didn't feel like it had enough volume. I was watching a few other things and then all of a sudden you look away, boom, and it dropped three bucks, which is really funny because usually I am aggressive. I've been sort of conservative lately, but this had an immediate, fast, quick sell-off. Luckily, when it backed up, it still set up and continued to drop. I'll go over it, but it was a nice trade. Some people got out of it early, which I'll show you in a minute. Some people held it. If you were willing to hold it, if you did the odds, if you played it, played it as hard as you could, this was a huge trade today. And I really think that the only reason it didn't even continue further is because it ran out of day Friday into the holiday weekend. But 114 was the number I was looking at. Low of the day was, gosh, it almost got to 113. It was 113.63. But I wanted 114, got slightly more than that. And again, 113, it almost got there. It opened at 118. It was a good number. It was a solid number. And this had volume. It definitely had volume. You can see it here. And in the bigger chart, actually, let me just look at the bigger chart. Here's what's been happening with this. Again, this stock had an incredible run up here right when it came out after the IPO. That was, you know, we're talking two years ago now, more than that. Ever since then, it's just been a laggard. It had a chance here earlier in the year to get somewhere going in 2021. It never did it. It failed. In fact, this is such a big, nasty, nasty bar. Let's look at the size of this bar. It's awful. I mean, and, it, and, and it's just disgusting big bar for this. I mean, the high was 221. The low is 183. It's almost 40 bucks. It's been nowhere near that price either. So, and when I say nowhere near it, I mean nowhere. So getting back to, getting back to what we did today. Let's go over it. So again, I liked this this morning, but then I was looking around at the market and some other things, and so I missed the fast trade. Here's the immediate sell-off. Actually, let me blow this up so I can show the whole thing. This just dropped, dropped like a brick, right down here, right away. We saw it, we caught it, we got it, we got in here, got the drop. This is where some people got out. This was a decent move. This was a nice move. This was more than a dollar, quite frankly, but I was really looking for 114, and then Again, the targets are areas. It backed up, backed up, backed up, backed up, backed up. And then I ended up adding to this. And then it kept backing up and kept backing up and kept backing up. And I said, oh, crap. And anyways, you know, then it finally situated itself. It was right in here between 10.45 and 11-ish, 11.15. Then it dropped. Then I added more. And then it finally, around noon, dropped. So this full on rally was the last of the Mohicans for this. And then the last ad wasn't here. And I was just trying to make the trade a bigger trade uh, to to look to have a big day on Friday. It all worked out. If it had not broken the low here, I would have gotten out. But again, you can still hang on to something. Watch it, watch it, bar by bar it. Here was the big sell off again, and then you got it. You got to get out of this somewhere in here, or at least after it starts to lift a bit. But even that was right around that 114 number, which was more profit than if you had gotten out of it down in here. So doing ads is something that I teach in the advanced entries class. It's not something we do all the time. 
usually I'm doing it to try to make a bigger trade of the trade that I have. In this case here, the last time I added, it pulled my price up, which really helped too. Um, and sometimes it works out that way. I felt that this would not get bought today. I felt this would not reverse and completely go green. It did end up closing very, very weak and almost near the lows. And so it was a nice short. It was a nice short end. But if I had done it immediately, I will say this, I would have just gotten right out. I would have. So, you know, normally I am doing the fast trades. It's not my thing to hold a trade for hours and hours. But in this case today, it absolutely paid. And it takes me into the next week, the second week of September, feeling good about the month and looking for some really, really quality picks. Again, it's important to be careful right around the holiday, right before, right after. But earnings season will be here before you know it. I'm looking forward to that. We have a couple selective things next week. But this was a fantastic play. If you had the gumption to hold through it, and I know a couple people did because I got an email from from a few people about it that held it, even though some people did get out right away. And it was enough money to get out. It really, it really was. Um, but if you did the ad, if you held the conviction, if you believed in the gap, um, then this really, really paid today. And you could have done it, got out, done it again, got out. You could have done it a couple times even without doing the ads. Uh, I, that's certainly possible too, but I don't usually do that. Usually if I get out of something, I'm done for the day. But in this case here, it's certainly paid to do the ads. Have a fabulous weekend, everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your holiday. Can't wait to see where this goes next week and everything else we're watching. Again, looking for extremely quality picks right now. It's just a reminder. Market has been choppy. Market has been sideways. we got to find selective things to do. Have a great weekend, everyone. If you're interested, email me at melissa.thestockswish.com for more information.